I'm gonna teach you how not to make an uncrustable. This is the wrong way. Because apparently, some of you think my way. <gasps> Please hold while we clean this up. It's fine, everything's fine, we're fine. We'll just do a honey sandwich. Many of you think my way isn't the correct way. This is the wrong way. Don't make your Uncrustable this way. Now, there's a peanut butter lid hack. Yeah, we've all seen that. That's great if you don't wanna buy an Uncrustable maker. There's no shame in that game. If you're going to have an Uncrustable maker and you're gonna make videos about it on the internet, do it right, don't do this. Step one that you're not gonna do, don't overfill your Uncrustable. You don't need heaps and gobs of peanut butter. Also, if you're going to make an Uncrustable, peanut butter both sides of the bread. It's important. If you don't do that, when you put your honey or whatever it is that you're gonna put on the other side, it's gonna leak through. Now, that's the amount of honey that people are usually putting on their Uncrustables. Let's be real, no one's putting honey on Uncrustables. It's just me and my family. This is where people mess up. When they make their Uncrustable, they don't separate the crimper. They just push down and then they rip the bread out from around it. Why would you do that? Look, now that is not a pretty sandwich and it's at the verge of bursting right now. And I'm telling you, if I left this in my, in my lunchbox for a minute, you, you see there is honey seeping through. I'm, not, I'm still gonna eat it, but it's wrong. This is wrong. This is delicious, but wrong. Just do it my way, okay? I mean, do whatever you want. Feed your kids whatever the fuck you want. But in case you were wondering, this is the wrong way.